Welcome back. You know, January is National Radon Action Month. Today in Pennsylvania State Capitol, officials in Harrisburg, along with PA's second lady, encourage people to be aware of the odorless, invisible, and radioactive gas. Our state capital correspondent, Brennan Scanlon, was there. He's joining us live to break down what radon is, the dangers for it, and how it actually can be tested. Good evening. Well, hey there, Eva, and good evening to you. That's right, so radon seeps up from the ground, oftentimes into houses, and can present a serious uh, health hazard if not treated. Now, according to the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection, an estimated 40% of homes in the Commonwealth are believed to have elevated radon levels. Which is the number one leading cause of death for non-smokers in lung cancer. It's an invisible intruder that often finds its way into homes through cracks, joints, holes, and even well water. It comes from the natural decay of uranium found in most soils, especially in Pennsylvania. And we found that Pennsylvania's geology has some slightly elevated levels of uranium. Because of our geology, um, it makes us the state that has the most cases of radon. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer and estimated to cause thousands of deaths each year. Once inside a home, radon can become trapped and build up. It can present itself in schools and businesses as well. Thankfully, radon test kits are inexpensive and effective. It's a small canister. You open it up, you place it in the basement. Once a test is placed on the ground level or in the basement, results can show in as little as 48 hours. And then what you do is close it up like this and uh, mail it to the lab. Once sent in for testing, the lab will notify you of the results typically within a week. Officials say winter is the ideal time to test for radon. Winter is ideal because doors and windows are usually closed in the winter time and that provides for more accurate results. And this is actually what a radon test kit looks like. They're widely available at hardware home improvement stores. This one was about $12, but they tend not to run over $20. But if you do have one of these and your test shows above average levels of radon in your home, be sure to head to our website. We have steps and resources available um, at eerienewsnow.com. But for now, inside the state capitol, I'm Brendan Scanlon. Don't go anywhere. Erie News Now will be back right after this.